Yo, what is going on, everyone? This thing tower here, Tevin, coming at you guys with a brand new video today, man. Hope you guys are all doing well, man. Feed your mind, feed your body, feed your soul, getting closer to Christ as you should. Praying, repenting, all that good stuff, brothers and sisters. Today, brothers and sisters, we're going to be talking about soul ties and rush relationships, man, and uh, why you shouldn't be rushing into these relationships. Yeah, so let's get into it. First of all, what are soul ties, right? Soul ties is basically someone who you have a grave history with, right? Could have been a friendship or anything like that. A soul tie can be can be any type of relationship. It's just you having a lot of history with someone and it's it's really hard to let go. So therefore you've created a soul tie. Now these soul ties get stronger the more time that goes by. The and it really gets stronger when you are very intimate with this person. That's why, um, you know, when people have their first relationships, their first loves, quote unquote, they still spend years and years thinking about this person because they created a, a massive soul tie. So that's what soul ties are. You know, it's just someone that you have his a long history with. Uh, yeah. So uh, rushing into relationships, when you're rushing into relationships, right? You are not only ruining your blessings. You are not only ruining your blessings that God has for you because you're being impatient and disobedient, but you are also ruining your soul and your spirit. You're opening doors <laughs> to demonic attacks because you don't know what this person has. You don't know what this person holds on deep inside because you barely even know this person. You're just rushing into it because you're lonely or you've been waiting for too long or whatever the case may be. I know how that feels, man. I know how that feels. I just came out of, out of a relationship four to five months ago. And when I tell you, I was just so desperate at this time. Um, you know, I just, because I was just waiting for so long. Um, every girl that I was talking to, um, it would just, it, it just seemed like it, none of them were just meant for me. Every woman that I was talking to just seemed sexually impure. I just couldn't have a, a connection with these people. Uh, I just wanted, I just seeked a genuine connection with my significant other. And so, you know, once I found this one girl, you know, at first it seemed like we were equally yoked, but the thing is I seen red flags right off of the jump, right? It was like small red flags, but I can still see them. I was like, I was being delusional to them, right? Because I was like, she's beautiful. Seems like we have a, a some type of connection, but I mean, it it was like one of those connections that you can just like, you can have these type of connections with anyone. But it was just hard for me to just have these connections with anyone because it was like when I talk to like anyone else about these things, it's like it was hard for because so many people are just so caught up by this world and talk about worldly things and me and, and how me and her was talking about it, sort of a deeper level of things, right? I didn't really care about anything else. I didn't give it time really or anything because the time we had the conversation, like literally that was like kind of like my first time talking to her in a way, right? Like we would always like talk, but that was like my first time like really talking to her. So I was at work, I was at, I was at, I was, I was working. We were at the same post and uh, we were just talking about just like some deep stuff. Like this is the time before I was uh, saved by Christ. So the deep talks that we were having was like, think about chakra points, um, stuff like that. You know what I mean? So it was like two days after that, we were at like these rooms. We ended up like hooking up. It seemed okay, but the thing is, I didn't give it time or anything. I just rushed everything, basically. And then like after that, like third day, we ended up having, you know, sexual intercourse. It was like after that, I was just like, I was like, okay, we've had sexual intercourse and you know, this has to be, <laughs> this has to be like the one because I'm a person like, if I, if I do have sexual intercourse with a woman, like we were basically giving your soul to her. Like, I was like, okay, I gave my soul to her basically now. So like, now I have to go and go marry this girl. Because like, I'll, you know, when I get into a relationship with someone, that's what I think, I think it was straight marriage. Rushing, I just rushed into it. I just rushed into it, I had to give it time. And um, after a while, she started to become more sexually impure and so I wanted to have sex more. She started showing her true self and everything like this. She was lying about some things. And it was just uh, like, uh, right off the bat, like after like a month, it was just, it just got, it just got, it just got worse. Um, but the thing is, I was just ignoring the red flags. Um, I didn't care about anything else, um, you know. And then I was getting, I was getting worse. Like my soul was getting more depleted, um, and and then than I than I was before. Like I, w I had just came out of a healing process as well, and um, because I was in a in a, in a relationship before that, like 
five, like another five months before that. And, um, you know, I was, I, I was just rushing into these, these relationships without being knowledgeable about them. I was just, I was just so, I was just so dumb to them. I was so, I was so dumb to the red flags and everything. But the thing is, um, I want you guys to know that, you know, when you're, when you're rushing into these relationships, um, you know, you're, you're hurting yourself in the long run. You are giving your soul to them. You are creating more and more soul ties without even knowing, um, you know, especially when you're having sexual intercourse, <laughs> then that it's like, like you do not want to rush into relationships. Um, cause God has something better for you. Um, you know, you just have to be patient, just keep praying, ask God, ask God to give you strength. Um, to fight off these, these temptations, to fight off these sins, these thoughts, and, and just ask God to just deliver you from um, impatience, and ask God to help you to have more patience and give you all of the all of His good spirit, all of His good uh, fruits, all of His good fruits of the Spirit, and just and just wait, because what God has in store for you is much better than what Satan has in store for you, you know, because that's what it is. You know, when you're rushing into stuff, you're basically giving into Satan's temptation. Like that saying goes, God, what God has for you, it will take time. But, you know, when you when, when he gives it to you, uh, it's going to be that, that's forever. You know, that's forever. But, you know, when Satan gives it to you, it's like right away, you know, you like get it instantly. And that's true. You know, what I mean, um, Satan wants you to be to be comfortable in your sin, wants you to be comfortable where you're at. Because he wants to destroy you. He doesn't want you to get closer to God. You know, so um, don't rush into these relationships. Just wait. Wait for God. Wait for Jesus Christ. And wait for him to give you everything that you need. Because, you know, if you keep rushing into these relationships, you keep rushing into these things, it won't It won't end well. It won't end well. You'll just create more stronger soul ties and it'll just be terrible. But anyways, guys, that's all I got to uh, pretty much say for this video. I got one scripture to read you guys. And then I'm going to uh, end this video. Because this video turned out to be very long. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna read the scripture and then I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. So we got 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. The temple of the living God. Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? What accord has Christ with Belial? Or what portion does a believer share with an unbeliever? What agreement has a temple of God with idols? For we are the temple of the living God, as God said. I will make my dwelling among them, walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Therefore, go out from the midst and be separate from them, says the Lord, and touch no unclean thing. Then I will welcome you, and I will be a father to you, and you shall be sons and daughters to me, says the Almighty, says the Lord Almighty. Since we have these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from every defilement of body and spirit, bringing holiness to completion in the fear of God, man. So, yeah, uh, you know, uh, just be careful, um, be patient, and that everything will work out. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for tuning into this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like. Share to get this out to the algorithm to help many other people who need this video, man. Follow, subscribe, whatever platform you're watching this on. If you really want to support my channel, if you really want to support my community, be a part of my community, become a part of my community, help us spread the light of Christ all through our community onto other communities. And they can spread the light of Christ all through their community and onto another community and so on and so forth. From all four corners of the earth until everyone has a chance to receive the Holy Spirit and to know the truth about Christ, man. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for tuning into this video. Love you guys all. Uh, feed your mind, feed your body, feed your soul, man. Get closer to Christ as you should. Pray, repent, and it's been a syntactic. Tevin, I'm out of here.